Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of my Cities in Motion 2 video series. In this episode, I'll be playing the fourth scenario in the campaign. It's called Grim Times. It takes place in North City, and once again, I'll be playing on the expert difficulty level. So, let's do it! Alrighty, so here we are in North City. Uh, I can see it's a quite interesting looking city with a lot of different districts here and there. Uh, let's go take a look at our objective. Um, so this is Mrs. Nettle, and she says, Hello there and welcome. These are truly grim times for my town. We need more workers, especially white collar workers. The offices are craving new workers. Please help us. So in, in addition to establishing 15% coverage in the city, it looks like we'll also have to grow the population of Mrs. Nettle City by 10% to 26,000 people. So it'll be interesting how we uh, manage to grow the population here. Um, let's go take a look at our data view and see what kind of social groups are here. Let's look at blue collar workers first. And as you can see, we've got a few industrial areas, uh, some down here, mostly on the outskirts of the city and also a few tenements and apartment buildings here and there. Uh, unfortunately, the, because they're so spread out and on opposite uh, sides of the map, I think uh, we probably won't be building routes for those sort of, uh, for those blue collar workers. Uh, Mrs. Nettle did mention white collar workers. Let's take a look at them, those people. And yeah, uh, definitely some core, downtown cores here, business cores. Uh, this one looks like to be the biggest one here. And where those white collar uh, folks live, they, they're usually over in these suburbs. Uh, there's a big one over here, and a few pockets down here as well. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to gear my uh, uh, routes toward white collar workers. And what I'm going to try to do is probably emulate what I did in the last mission in Tiny Town, where I just built one metro line, uh, one centralized metro line, and then build feeder buses around it. So I think uh, that's what I'm going to do. I gotta, now I'm gonna just probably going to decide what kind of route I'm going to build. Uh, definitely want to cross into this downtown core here. I'll turn off my view there. And I do recall that there are some suburbs over here with a lot of white color workers, so I think I'll connect through here. Maybe, maybe make it an underground line perhaps, going through this, this way over here. And then, uh, interestingly, there's a little median, or like a little pocket of empty space where there are no buildings. And this might be a good spot to build, um, maybe take the metro out of the underground, maybe a little tunnel here, and then uh, make our way uh, toward the east here, um, toward these other suburbs, past this industrial area, past that stadium. And if I can, if I have enough money, I can imagine, imagine maybe even it connected to this industrial island over here, but uh, we'll have to see. So this is going to be a pretty long metro line. I think I'm going to have to take a, definitely going to have to take a loan here, uh, and I'm not even sure if I'll have enough money to build any feeder lines. So um, this is going to be a big risk, and uh, I'm not going to bore you with all the details about building this line. So I'm going to cut the video off here and. Uh, hopefully later you shall see a big a nice big snaky line going down across the city. So I'll see you then Okay, so as you can see I've built out my metro line here uh, cuts across the city and I even managed to extend it all the way to the eastern island as I said so uh, let me show you the uh, the line in detail it starts off in this uh, western depot over here and then it heads underground, uh, going underneath the, these suburbs and this uh, commercial district, as you can see there. And then it heads even deeper underground, uh, going underneath this inlet, as you can see there. And then it goes over to this, uh, through this commercial district, and still going underground. Until it gets to this uh, median over here, where it emerges from the tunnel and then becomes an elevated line. You can see continues eastward and then it uh, goes by this industrial district over this highway here uh, past the stadium and then uh, something interesting happened when I tried to build this uh, uh, bridge over here uh, what I was trying to go for was building this rail bridge uh, just like just over this road just like how I did in t the tiny town scenario 
Uh, but what happened was it kept complaining about being uh, over the maximum height for a bridge of that size. So I can show you, uh, maybe this might work this time. So I'm going to build a metro track and push the page up key a whole bunch of times. And let's see if I can get it to go across the bridge here. Yeah, as you can see, uh, if I'm connecting with this uh, guy here, it just, I don't know, for some reason doesn't seem to want to uh, uh, go over the bridge. Oh, oh, actually, hmm, okay, scratch that, maybe I was wrong. It does seem to want to go over that bridge. I just need to actually extend it all, all the way over here. Um, that's kind of annoying, but, uh, yeah, oh well. It's kind of too late now to fix that. Uh, I, as an alternative, what I did was I went across... Uh, alongside the road and then went and met up uh, back above the road over there as you can see. Uh, what I think happened was uh, when it calculates the maximum height over the for the bridge here it actually goes from the seabed level. If I l turn on underground view you can see that the actual bottom of the of these pillars is actually quite a bit deeper so maybe it was getting confused uh, maybe the because the road was in the way perhaps. Um, I'm not sure but uh, the bridge is there. It looks uh, pretty unique. Uh, I'm, I don't want to blow it up and rebuild it. That's going to be a waste of money. So uh, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, anyway, uh, just to keep it going, it just continues down the eastern island here through the industrial district and then ends up in this uh, eastern depot here. So it is uh, one complete line. I don't foresee extending it at all because it doesn't go anywhere else. Uh, I might possibly build more lines that might reach down into this area, but we're only going for 15% coverage in this scenario, so I'm probably not going to do that quite yet. Uh, or maybe another metro line along in this area as well. Uh, so yeah, that that's my metro line. And now uh, what, I, what I was going to do was actually what I thought about doing was building a few bus bus feeder lines uh, uh, around around the metro line there. And you're probably thinking, oh, I don't, you know, Frumpel, I don't see any buses or anything. Well, that's because I'm actually uh, hiding it. I have a surprise for you here. I'm going to go to the transport panel and then... Bam. Well, I guess it's not a dramatic bam, but... I'm just turning on the visibility for my, all the trolleys and trams I built. So, uh, what I did here was uh, there's this U shape for the metro line, and what I did was I to, there was this area around here that didn't have any coverage, so I decided to uh, fill in the gaps with a couple of trolley lines and a tram line. So these two trolley lines on the inner inside, uh, they start and they start and end off at a metro station, and I think that's. I think that's a really good setup. Uh, that means any passenger inside here can just go take any trolley going in both in, in e either direction, and they'll reach a metro metro station uh, on the way there. So uh, this one, this this uh, trolley line is a shorter one. It goes from the station up to uh, this station here, and then there's another one a little bit longer. It goes from this station right here. And then goes around these curved roads and goes all the way uh, over almost into the uh, downtown core there around that park. So that's how that works. And then uh, I wanted to try to cover this uh, outer suburb over here, but it was getting quite long. So I thought uh, tram would probably make more sense here. So you can see it goes around the stadium, uh, goes uh, yeah, it goes in a kind of loop. It try it goes up this road and then goes down that road. You can see them uh, meeting up yeah, right here. And then it uh, reaches, uh, it actually connects with all the, both the other trolleys and then also the metro. So there's actually really good coverage in this uh, uh, area of the city here. I can actually show you the coverage map and give you an idea how it looks. So yeah, uh, green again is two or more lines. Yellow is uh, covered by one line. So I got, I think I've got pretty good coverage here, um, but especially in this area because you got a tram, two trolleys, and a metro all connecting up within uh, very close proximity to each other. Uh, so yeah, that's that area. Uh, in addition to that, I also built a third trolley line in this northern district. I found that uh, this metro line was only not covering the whole district, so I built one, uh, another trolley line that goes around in this loop. It goes around, goes to this depot here, goes to these suburbs, and back out again. So 
Yep, so looking at the coverage map of this guy, yep, I uh, got pretty good coverage in that area. I'm missing a little part in the middle there, but uh, I think that's uh, not too bad at all. So, yep, so that's what I built out. Um, let's look at my finances here. Uh, you might be wondering. Uh, yeah, so I took out $300,000 in total, and one of my loans, $1,000, about a third of it, was at a 400% interest rate. The other one was at a 115% interest rate, so not too good. But my weekly payments are pretty manageable because I, I took the loan, and I'll be repaying them in 25 weeks. So I'm kind of hoping that I don't have to play this. Uh, this is the only scenario on this map, but... Uh, you know, considering there's actually more stuff to do over here and I only need 15% coverage in this scenario, uh, maybe that might be a mistake. So, um, yeah, it's going to take a while for me to pay off these loans, uh, suffice to say. Uh, but even with these repayments, I am making money. Uh, all my trolleys, trams, and metros are both making money. Metro is making the most there. Um, Metros are probably making the most probably because of the ticket prices. Again, I, oh, as I saw the... It was actually telling me it's too high. I've noticed I've I've increased it, but now it seems to be the game seems to have some sort of sense of an economic cycle. I think where uh, there's uh, booms and busts and recessions and all that. And I think I might be heading to a recession, or either that, or I'm not providing good enough service to uh, for people to actually. Uh, uh, pay those sort of exorbitant prices. So as you can see, trolleys at seventy cents uh, for one's uh, one one run ride, tram at a dollar, and a metro at four dollars. So still, metros are quite more expensive than the others, but uh, but uh, not quite to the extent that we saw for like that eight fifty in a uh, uh, tiny town there. Okay, so that is that. Now, let's look at our objectives again. Uh, where it says for the 1% there, but if you click this guy, it actually, I think what's happening is it actually tells me uh, what I'm, what the current goal is. There are actually two goals here, going to tw growing my population to 26,000 and the 15% coverage, but it's only showing me the completion rate of my 60, of my population, which is at around 62%. It, it, dif it, dif it differs from this 31% I see on the left there. So um, getting pretty close, but I think I need to, in order to encourage population growth, I think what I need to do is actually build more roads. And uh, I could, uh, I could, so uh, basically building new neighborhoods and I could build roads out in the boonies uh, around the outskirts but you can see this big large middle area right here I think that's uh, I think that the, the developers meant for me to actually build roads in this area um, okay so what I was going to do is actually for first what I was going to build is actually build from here to here uh, but that means blowing up some buildings and I did notice uh, this building I don't think I showed you this this one before uh, it's a mall mart. <laughs> um, actually, it's a, a department store. And um, yeah, it's quite interesting actually, this mall mart. Uh, you'll notice that if I, I click there, it doesn't have any, well, you would expect no one to live in the department store, but it also doesn't employ anybody. You see the workplaces and workers are actually both at zero. Um, this is as opposed to like say this office building here which has uh, 20 workplaces and 8 workers um, and this apartment building yeah it has a few residents and some workplaces probably like some uh, stores on street level but for whatever reason the department store doesn't employ anybody I don't know what that really means maybe it's maybe it's uh maybe robots work in that department as well kind of if you ever been to a department store it'd be, it might be th not not far from the truth though in, since uh, well I don't want to install I don't want I don't want to install retail people but uh, it is kind of funny there um, also on that mall Mart uh, let me show you a few things here if you got a few advertisements here you know perfumes temptation perfume uh, this thing this is a weird one I never really understood what this one it said only for you with three exclamation marks and this weird Muppet green thing with the few glasses there. I don't know if that's children or something. I don't know. It's very disturbing to be honest. <laughs> um, can't read that one because the sun's glaring at it. Uh, I'm not too important anyway. And over... Oh, there's actually another one over here. If I can read it. Oh, that one's also the sun glaring. I'll come back to those a bit later, but... Um, yeah, uh, in the meantime, actually, let's blow up that department store. Since, uh, since I, w I was worried that uh, blowing that department store would actually... Uh, 
negatively affect my economy because people might work there, but apparently nobody works there. So I'm just going to build my road and see what happens. So I'm going to start from there. And you can build road again. It just builds roads right through things, which I don't know if that's the greatest feature. Uh, I don't know if that's, there's a way of turning it off or not. Um, so let's see. Where should I connect? I think I'll connect to that other two-way road there. Make this a, uh, a big intersection there. So uh, actually, maybe I'll make it curve a bit. So I'll click there, and then like a little waypoint, and then connect it like so. So there's a little, there's a little curve in that road. Okay. Oh, and as you can see, uh. Buildings just simply pop up as as they come. So we already got a building here. This looks like a commercial building. Uh, don't have any workplaces, but maybe people will start moving in there. Uh, I'll also, I'll also build the crossroad for going north and south. There, it's another two lane road. I'll have to blow up that high rise, but um, that's that's the price of development here. Okay. And uh, I think that's good enough. I don't know how close you need to make these, like these city blocks. Um, like if you look over here, like these are pretty small city blocks. So maybe I do need to perhaps build a few more side roads, maybe one over here. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this. Um, actually, maybe I can probably build one more road here. Let's see if I can get this guy. Uh, it's probably going to blow up that other shopping center. I think that one's also, whoops. I turn off my road. Yeah, this is a shopping center, and it also doesn't impl doesn't employ anybody. So I don't know how they I don't know what the devs were thinking there. You think a shopping center would probably provide a lot of employment to people, but apparently not in this game. Uh, now actually, I'm gonna think about this. Do I want to make this a two-lane road or a three-lane road? Because actually, this this guy over here is a three-lane road, as you can see there. So maybe I'll change to a three lane road and I make a waypoint hmm. there I guess and connect it oh I don't quite have enough money for that and it does it kind of looks like it's gonna go underground I don't quite like that maybe I'll just build up to let's see there perhaps oh it did make a tunnel uh that's okay. I don't, I'm not. Sh that might actually be a waste of money, but we'll have to see there. See if I connect. Oh, now I, now I have enough money to connect there, so I might as well do that. Goodbye, shopping center. You don't. You are useless. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's that. I see if I can build my crossroad. Extend it down there. Uh, I don't quite have enough money. I don't want to take out a loan either, so I'll just leave it like that for now. But you can see that, uh, yep, there are a few more buildings there. That's a... Uh, oops, oh, I don't want to build a road. Whoops, 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 right click, right click. Uh, tenement, it has 15 homes. Nobody's moved in yet, so... Yeah, that's good. It, it shows you homes and residents. So there is a bit of a simulation of unoccupied businesses or unoccupied residents. So I think that's kind of cool. Uh, it's a library there. Got a few schools next to each other here. It's kind of interesting. All right, so that's the road system. I'm probably what I'm probably going to do is uh, continue to build a few more roads once I get more money. Uh, I'm not going to take out any more loans. I'm just going to wait for the money to pour in. Uh, as I saw there, I'm making about twenty-two thousand per week, so I think that should be good. Um, so I'll continue to build more roads there. That should increase my population, or at least a uh, kickstart it to grow to this uh, twenty-six thousand dollar, twenty not dollar twenty-six thousand people goal and uh, yep uh, in addition to that uh, there are a few quests I have uh, if you go here I've got one to uh, build a line to the shopping center um, for this retail of spandex hoodies <laughs> not sure if that's a uh, actual product but yeah uh, someone wants me to build a line here I'm not so sure, sure about building a line in this area quite yet because I'm not sure how it will connect over here so I might hold off on that but I also got another quest down over here on this eastern island to build a line to this uh, refinery there you can see the ones with the two big smokestacks um, so 
there's so just like so what I'm thinking is just like how I built lines in this between this little U shape for my metro line, I'm probably gonna there's also another U shape that goes around here. Uh, so I'm pro I can probably build uh, maybe a trolley line or a bus line that goes uh, through here across the highway, across the bridge, and then over into this industrial district, providing a little bit more coverage to this eastern island here. I think I can probably do two lines, one going south, one going north, but um, It'll mostly depend on how much money I can make and uh, see how appropriate it is. Um, back to my goal here. Uh, too bad it doesn't show me whether I have, I'm actually have enough coverage. I, I was trying to go through the graphs, but it didn't really give me enough information there. But I have a feeling, though, like this city is not too big. I have a feeling all this already I have is probably going to cover my 15%, like, you know, accomplish my 15% coverage. So I have the feeling that once I do get my $26,000, 26, I keep calling it dollars, 26,000 person population, then uh, I think I'll just, you know, complete that goal, then discover, oh, I have 15% coverage already. I'll fit, that's complete. Oh, you're done the mission. So I, I kind of want to ho hopefully. I'll still build the line probably, but like these new bus lines, but um, I have the feeling I might already be, I just need to grow the population and that, sh that should be it for this scenario. Um, yeah, it, as again, I, I have a suspicion that this is just one part of this scenario, there's probably going to be another one to tell me, oh, uh, give me 45% uh, coverage or some, some crazy number like that, so and I'll have to expand over you know, this southern area. So. Yep. Um, oh, back to that Malmar thing. Let's see if I can read it now. It's nighttime. Uh, oh, no. Now the street lights are showing off that one. But I can read this one. This one says, New Ethnic Collection. Radio Rocks, I think it says. It has some scantily clad women, so I don't know. I think there's a pizza sign there. So Yeah, again, I don't know what these department stores do. They're just kind of a waste of space, but... Yep. Actually, okay, so that is pretty much why I wanted to show you. So again, I'll be building some roads out to fill out this area and then try to build some bus lines and then uh, we shall see if I complete this uh, scenario. Uh, probably a bit early. Uh, yeah, I would, probably wouldn't take the whole half hour of my episode there. So this is probably going to be one of the shorter episodes, I hope. So, um, yep, I'm going to cut off the video here and I'll see you later. Alrighty, so as you can see, my new neighborhood is being built out quite nicely here. Uh, got a lot of new tenements, a few houses on this side here. And um, yeah, uh, it has helped me get to my goal closer. I'm about 91% uh, completion to my 26,000 population here. So uh, it's grown a little bit, but now it's f for the last few minutes it's kind of stalled. So I think. What I'll need to do is actually build a few more roads here and uh, should be pretty close to completing the mission. So let's go do that. I'm going to build a, probably two more uh, cross streets here. So I'm going to make sure I don't... I also fixed that tunnel there. It was actually... It was in fact a waste of uh, land space and I don't think that's a, such a good idea. So hopefully I won't get run into another tunnel situation here. I'm going to carefully build all my waypoints. Okay. Not sure I'm gonna do how I'm gonna connect to this main road here. Uh, I guess I have to go through it. <laughs> oh well, poor building. Okay, and I'll, I'll connect that other north south street later, but I'll just connect this next one here. I think this should give. Should uh, I'm pretty sure this will give me enough to get me over the top there. I think that's gonna make a tunnel. I don't want that. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. It's hard to tell whether it's going to make a tunnel or not. I, I'm assuming that if it's not yellow, it's not going to give me one. Actually, hold on. Oh, actually, I'm... Oh, ooh. Good thing I didn't build that road. It was actually a bit too far off. I actually want uh, to get off this intersection here, so... That looks better. Okay, so here we go. Going over this hill... Doesn't look quite right. Let's build another waypoint there. Right there. Okay. Then connect up to the road. Oh, I guess I gotta 
Well, maybe I can get around. Let's click there, remove that ray point, and maybe make a loop. Yeah, that works. Cool. Okay, now for the cross street, I'll make a two lane road here. Each direction. So I have to pull up that time in there. Got a little bit. A little bit. Uh, took too much initiative there for those uh, developers there, but. Okay, so I think that's going to get me up to 90%. I'm going to speed up the game. Uh, hopefully in a few minutes we'll see the the, mish, uh, the population skyrocket to 26,000. And the mission should be complete, I hope. I'm pretty sure this is 50% coverage. I'd be kind of disappointed if it wasn't. So keep an eye on that. Um, I'm going to attempt to build a bus line uh, through this new neighborhood. Oh, actually, no, not through this neighborhood. Uh, that's probably going to be a tram line of some sort. Uh, let's go back to what I was doing. Uh, I was going to build a bus line down here. That's probably a bit too long, so I'm going to actually split into two. Uh, going one going around to this neighbor, this highway here, and then another one going the rest of the way here. I was I was going to build another second line into this area here, but um, maybe it's okay to have a little bit of uh, air area there that's not covered. So I'm going to try to beat the game here and. Get some trolley wires. Where's trolley wires? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's speed trolley line building. That's a sport at all. So I'm gonna just ram myself. Oh, not ram myself. Ram. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Um, ram all the way down this road here. You can go around like so. It's getting up to 48% there. I don't know if I will beat this in time. Maybe I, maybe I can get at least the stops placed. I'm only just connecting up to there. I'm going to use that de depot there to use to get the eight buses there, so that should be fine. Oh, 49%. Uh, slow down. I'm going to cheat here. I don't wanna, whoa, I don't want to build that trolley wire there. Okay. I'm going to build my stops now. I like the fancy one. bit too far. Let's bring it back a bit there. There we go. Make sure I cover as much as I can. Oops. That park. Whoa. Yeah, sometimes I hit those corners. It's not so good. Okay, that looks good. And then I'll establish my route very quickly here. Probably the fastest bus route I've ever built. Starting from this depot. Going north. Yep, I'm gonna share the Oh I forgot ooh, I forgot to build the ones that go I don't want I want them to turn around here, so let's make a left turn there. And another left turn like so. Okay. Now we can, now we're in business. We can go there I guess. We need another stop there. Let's build one more. Uh, back to line building. There we go. Around this corner, back up here. So the other line's probably going to do another clockwise loop around there. So uh, generally, I've been trying to actually avoid. Um, I think it's okay to share stops and wires. That, that'll save you money initially, but if you have like, I think you should only have a maximum of two lines on on each section of road or section of track, tram track or anything like that. Because uh, as you saw in Central City, I had like four tram lines on one loop and that just got congested really fast. Uh, okay, so I don't, I'm not going to care about schedules right now, I just want to get it running. So. Uh, I don't have very much money. I'm just gonna go with two for now. Actually, oh, I can probably build one more. One more? Let's see. Oh, it's nine hundred dollars. Okay, I can. Yeah. I got four. That should be enough for now. 
And, uh, yep, there it goes. I will... It's already running right now. Yep, it just left the depot there. Okay, so that is the fastest trolley line ever built. I'm going to speed up the game now and let us hope that we will complete the mission very, very soon. 99% completed. It's getting close. Uh, let's look at some graphs while we're waiting. Let's look at the population. There's city graphs down here. We can look at, uh, that's network coverage. This is city population. And... Ah! Excellent. Oh, just as I was looking there. Okay, so, yep, that is the end of um, this episode here. And next episode, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to run into. So, uh, yep, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.